I was a city bus driver for uh, the city of Kalamazoo for 21 years, working overtime to save some money to put a new roof on my house. And I'm sitting at a red light. I remember a police car across the light from me and an ambulance. And then that's it. When I woke up and had some consciousness, I was in Battle Creek. And I think that's where my uncle told me that I lost my leg and that the accident was not my fault. A lot of thoughts about how my future would be, but uh, once I got past that, that I was gonna have to trust people in order to start healing, um, things just kind of picked up and here I am. With my prosthetist, Stephanie, uh, then putting on the shorts. I'm always in basketball shorts because I'm always, you know, <laughs> in therapy, working out with Sean and all of that. So um, it was just to make me feel comfortable. It was my uh, first day stepping into my leg. So I'm looking for a foot clearance and for her weight transfer and such. And Sean is kind of figuring out how to best clear this right leg, keeping that balance and making sure that that leg fully extends when she bears weight on it. Before I was afraid to sit up in bed and now I'm walking up a hill. Yep, and we're pushing and coming up. Excellent, excellent. A lot of strength and exercises, yep, just to strengthen the hip muscles, work on balance, sustaining balance, um, just the stability on the left leg. We've had to work on a lot of the core strengthening leg strengthening in all different positions. Okay, we'll sidestep back to your left. They've been awesome through my journey here at Mary Free Bed. Smiles, everybody's encouraging and supportive. You need to trust the person that's helping you, and you need to trust yourself. I think I'm gonna be okay. I don't wanna climb a mountain, I just wanna walk again. And uh, I'm grateful to still be here with my with my children, my family, my friends. Life is good.